Hey guys, this is Sidra. Welcome to my YouTube channel Educate with Sidra. In this video, we are uh, continuing uh, the chapter number 8 of O-Levels Chemistry that is the mole. So here we have some examples. Okay, the numerical is calculate the mole uh, given weight of carbon dioxide is 2400 gram. Okay, so how will we do that? Uh, so how will we do that? Uh, calculate the number of moles. So you have to recall your formulas. Okay, so what is the formula? Number of mole is equal to mass in gram divided by molecular mass molecular mass of the relative molecular mass okay so okay so what is the mass uh, molecular weight of uh, carbon dioxide uh, the molecular weight we have to calculate that is co2 so the molecular weight of uh, carbon dioxide will be Carbon is 12 and uh, 2 moles of uh, oxygen that will be 16 is equal to 44. Okay, so now let's come to the formula again. Number of mole of uh, carbon dioxide is equal to the mass in gram. What is the mass that is given in the question? That is 2400 gram. And the relative molecular mass of uh, carbon dioxide that will be the 44 gram. Right, that is gram per mole or you can say the molar mass. Right. So that will cancel out and the, the what will be the result that will be the result is the 54.55 moles of carbon dioxide okay so this is the solution of this question now next question is so calculate the sodium atom given weight of sodium is 9.2 gram so you know this thing uh, what is the relationship between the number of moles and the number of particles right so the number of atoms or the number of particles we have already started in the formula that uh, number of moles equal to the number of particles divided by the Avogadro number right the number of moles is equal to the number of particles divided by Avogadro number right and the number of particles can be any uh, atom or molecule etc and another formula is this uh, number of mole is equal to mass in gram divided by the molecular mass so uh, the both left sides are equal so we can uh, equate the both right hand side right so we can uh, write over here the number of particles divided by Avogadro number this one okay is equal to the number of moles so what will be the number of moles uh, that will be equal to the mass in gram divided by molecular mass okay so what will be the number of particles number of particles that will be the number of atom of sodium the number of particle can be any atom or molecule so number of sodium atom is equal to the mass in gram divided by molecular mass that is the relative molecular mass or the molar mass multiplied by Avogadro number right so uh, the mass in gram is given in the quotient it is 9.2 divided by the molecular mass what is the molecular mass of uh, yeah molecular mass of the atomic mass of uh, sodium is 23 right and Avogadro number that, that will be 6.02 10 to the power 23 always remember this thing whenever you are using the calculator right so do not put 10 to the power 23 in the calculator okay First, you have to uh, give in a uh, gap, multiply by 10 is to power 23, right first here. Now, calculate this one in the calculator as 9.2 multiplied by 6.02 divided by 23. So, that result will be 2.408 into 10 is to power 23 number of atoms of sodium. Okay. I'm, sh I'm showing you in the calculator weight and I'm uh, putting 9.2 right multiply by multiply sign that will be 6.02 right divided by 23 
is equal to the look 2.40a do not put 10 to the power 23 in the calculator otherwise you will get confused so put it uh, write it first in the answer call answer column that is multiply by 10 to the power 23 and then um, calculate the uh, this uh, whole figure right uh, do, uh, but uh, I am saying this thing to write first uh, 10 to the power 23 in the answer column because uh, for after using the cal calculator you will forget uh, that uh, you have to write multiply by 10 to the power 23. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel, like the video and comment.